Thanks very much, Bob. We're doing these platforms for the simple reason that when you go on a demonstration, I've been on these demonstrations since I was 17, I just turned 60 last week. You see, you go on a demonstration, you march for three miles or four miles, and then you hear a list of people speaking, good speeches, but you hear them speaking. And you don't say anything. You talk to some friends, you say you went on a demo, you look at the pictures, you remember. A revolution, however, is different. A revolution is awakening. It's when you move, like we have in the last few years, from being locked in our homes, told we were gonna die from a virus. Masks on our faces, keep two meters apart. Don't visit your family, don't visit your friends. Take the jab, behave yourself. While they plundered the world, of the resources of the world, and they drove billions of people into poverty and misery. And then they told us last year, just when they ended the story about COVID, they told us we're now fighting a war against fascists in Ukraine. That's what they told us. Are we going to win that war? All we need to do is make all of you pay more for your gas bills, pay more for your electricity, pay more for your food, pay more for your rent. All of us in Britain, one of the wealthiest countries in the world, driven into poverty. And then they turn one against another. They want to turn the white people of England against the Muslims. The Christians against the Muslims. The Muslims against the Jews. They want to turn us one against another. It's a long, long, long story. It goes right back thousands of years. And it's known as divide and conquer. We will not be divided by their lies, by their wars, by their propaganda, by their war machine. We must stand up and unite. If there are neighbours who disagree with you, go to them and talk to them. If there are Christians and you're a Muslim, go to them and talk to them. If you're a Christian and there are Muslims next door, go to them and talk to them. Unite the people from below against a tyranny being imposed on the world in the name of technology, in the name of pharma, in the name of the military, in the name of finance. We have the most unequal society in the history of humanity. The pharaohs knew nothing in comparison. And now they want to automate the entire process. They want to use Palestine as the example and Gaza as the example. Drive the Palestinians out, slaughter them and get the West Europeans and the Americans to say yes, it is justified. And then when they bring people back, they're going to put them under permanent state of surveillance using technology, facial recognition and robot cops which will use tasers and drones to control the people. That is the sort of tyranny they have in mind for us and our children. And the instrument of tyranny, by the way, the main instrument of tyranny is the mobile phone. That they've got you sitting on all day, scrolling doom to listen to the lies and propaganda that they propagate. So I recommend this, all of you, half an hour a day next week, leave your mobile phone at home. They don't know where you are then. They don't know what you're doing then. That's how they gain control of the world. Regain control. Take power from these monsters, from these barbarians, from these dictators who are turning the world into barbarity, slaughter and inhumanity. Rise up for freedom. Rise up for Palestine. Rise up for the people all around the world. Thanks very much.
devil was convincing the world. See, in this world, you never know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,